Outrocast. It's a pleasure to connect. The new movie is Ghosts of the Ozarks. When did you actually finish filming on it? Oh, so we shot in June of 2020. We filmed, we wrapped production in July. So we had about six weeks on the ground there. That's not that bad of a turnaround. A lot of the people I'm speaking with, it's two, three years. They don't remember per se. <laughs> in your case, everything's still vivid. You remember it all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we move quick. HCT Media, the guys over there, they, uh, Jordan and Matt, you know, they're the co-directors and Jordan's a production designer as well and, and uh, producers. Matt's also the composer and DP. So yeah, we wear a lot of hats. So when the production is moving in like that, uh, you can kind of get things done really quick when there's not too many cooks. <laughs> they're calling the film a horror Western. Do you like that? Uh, I, I do. I think it's fun. I think it's very intriguing. I don't consider Arkansas the West. I think it's the South. So Western, I'm like, okay, we all wear cowboy hats, I guess. <laughs> um, I think of it as a horror thriller, um, a, a historical horror thriller, you know, cause it, it's one that makes you think a little bit, which I, I, I'm a fan of those, that genre. So I'm, I'm happy to get to be a part of one. <laughs> uh, in your case, not just on camera, co-wrote it. Was the goal all along to wear those many hats you were talking about before, or is that just accident, organic, going with the flow? Uh, pretty organic. Also, we, we really enjoy producing, you know, uh, and wearing as many hats. It's nice that in indie film, you kind of have to. Uh, I think it works the best because it's also, you know, we'll be doing a scene. And if Matt, who's the DP and right. co-director with Jordan, they're like, we want to change some stuff. He just asks Jordan, the production designer, can we change this? You know what I mean? It's all very quick. Um, you don't have to set that, shut down and wait 20 minutes for the department head and blah, blah. Um, so that's always nice. But the, uh, you know, the original, we did a proof of concept back in 2016. Um, and Tommy and I were just the actors in that. Um, and Matt and Jordan wrote that, produced that, everything. And then as Jordan started to write the feature film, uh, and I, he asked for notes and ideas and kind of stuff. And I went back and forth. Uh, and then he said, you know what, do you just want to write this with me? And I was like, yes. And the goal, of course, is always to get to star in the film. But I knew that that wasn't always a guarantee, especially as the budget got a little bigger and more names were attached. I thought, I, I hope to get to be. But as a producer, I got a lot of say. <laughs> um, and I was so happy to because I wrote so many you know, so many things of Annie, Jordan was like, what do you want to say here? You know, and I got to write it and then I actually got to say it. So that was really exciting. Whatever I'm, whatever hat I'm wearing at the time is my favorite hat. <laughs> was all along Arkansas going to be a focal point? Because I know you have Arkansas roots to you. Yeah. So I'm from Jonesboro originally and Jordan, my husband's from Bald Knob, Arkansas, actually. Um, and that's what inspired the story. Bald Knobbers was a group of vigilante they took the law amongst themselves in the 1860s in the Ozark Mountains. Um, and that's what inspired Jordan to write the concept for the short. Um, and then as, as Thomas and I came in and as of the cast, that changed the storyline, which, you know, you write a feature, you film a feature, and then you edit right. a feature. So we have all different iterations of it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where, that's where it all kind of came from. I ask that you never know. A lot of films take place in New York City, and then you find <laughs> out the whole thing was Canada. You never know who gave yeah, the well, that's, yeah, we filmed <laughs> We filmed in um, Truman, Arkansas. So it's a bit of a, a, a floodplain. It's a built in the Delta. Uh, so Jordan actually um, built mini Ozarks. He used 400 tons of dirt to make the hills of the Ozark Mountains on our, on our property. <laughs> What's well, great. Well, winding down here, two quick questions. And the first one is, yes, we're talking about Ghosts of the Ozarks. But what's next for you? Are you allowed to say or are you under a deadline.com embargo? <laughs> well, we're actually, we're doing, um, we're finishing up a, a feature documentary actually about uh, robotics professor, Dr. Kate Darling, which is really interesting and just a stimulating, you know, think piece, which is great um, in our future with robotics and AI. Um, but then also we have several other uh, films in the work. We have one in pre-production, uh, a genre film, which is very exciting. And um, yeah, we have lots of other projects that are waiting in the wings, some comedies, some musicals. So we have a, we have a little bit of variety. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to all that. And the last question I have is, besides your own projects, do you have a recommendation, like a new TV show for us to start here in the Paltrow's household? Any, any, you know, anything funny? Any, is it age appropriate? What, what ages am I covering here? Uh, old. Any kids. Okay. All right, no all kids. Right. <laughs> have you seen Search Party? 
<laughs> sure. Late okay, 30s, early 40s. Okay. So Search Party has been one of the shows that I, I've been loving. But also, Jordan and I, every day, we watch a show from the 90s, uh, the British uh, BBC. It's called Time Team, and it's about archaeologists, and they're just doing digs. And that is the show I watch every single day. <laughs> Okay, I guess you got a great taste besides the art that you create on the screen and on the page. So yeah. thank you for your time and really looking forward to hearing about the next project on the next junket. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Outro cast.